Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And in today's video, I'm going to use my Python skill to teach a lesson to a scammer and he will have hard time figuring out what just happened. So the backstory is few days back, I got a call from a person saying that he's from SBI cards department and I have activated some insurance. And in order to continue the activation or even to deactivate, I must follow all the steps that he sees. So at first I was told that he is a genuine person and like I must have done something by mistakenly. But later on, as he sent me the URL of the uh, URL of the website, I figured he is a scammer. You can see the URL over here. It is online customer dot site, customer care dot site and based on that and along with the ui how it is i figured he's a scammer a warning to all of the viewers who are watching this video make sure to not put any of your information on this website because this is a scammer's website and y'all will be scammed uh, after figuring out that uh, this was a scammer's call i decided to cut the call and after that later on in the evening i thought let's see what he's home page looks like and when I went to the home page this is what it is just another like wordpress template and nothing else so just by creating a simple website they are scamming a lot of people be careful guys so now what I decided is to see if they have uh, like api calls or whether they have post data right so uh, in order to do that let me zoom in once okay i went to the network tab i filled in any of the random data so sbi say card anything okay one 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 and the date format which it required was today's date so let's say 17 then uh, let's say 06 and 2023 20, and irrespective of whatever you select if you click on continue there's a php uh, api call and this is the form data that was getting submitted and i knew that this is an open api because in headers if you see uh, there is no uh, like authentication provided any api key or anything like that so after looking at all this information i figured that uh, we could send unlimited of uh, this fake data into scammers database and he will have a hard time figuring out what just happened to him so that is what we are going to do and in order to do i'm going to use some of the python's libraries those are like uh, date time of course uh, then a random library then also multi-processing i'm going to use and along with that i'm going to use also the request in order to of course send the uh, call the api so i already know the api's url and also i know that there is no authentication over here just that this all this data are only required right so uh, what i'm going to do is stop talking stop this camera and jump into the code we will create a new environment of course and environment will be called as anything so i will be using ppnv shell so there will be no name also over here and i know that i'm going to use a request library so i'm going to install that so ppnv install requests rest all of the packages are already present into python so we don't have to install them explicitly and now we'll create index.py and we are going to start by importing all the packages so i'm going to import first random package so random because we are going to generate all of the names randomly even the date randomly and and even the phone numbers randomly so that's why i'm going to import the random package then i'm going to import date time so from from date time import the date time and along with that i'm also going to import the time delta so we are going to add and subtract dates so make sure to watch this video entirely because this is a very interesting video and i'm going to import multi-processing so multi-processing and import the request library so request library so first what we'll do is we'll create our main function that will um, like call the scammers api and uh, then we'll create a uh, rep functions around that okay so i'm going to call this as def call scammer i'm going to just print saying that 
scammer got <laughs> call scammer called then i'm going to set the url and the url is we are going to copy from here again i'm giving all of you a warning make sure not to enter any of your real data otherwise we all will be scammed so this is the api url and then i'm going to take the form data so i have already prepared this form data i'm going to just copy paste it okay so everything is from here itself all all this data which are sent into the payload as form data and after that what we are going to do once we have form data ready we are going to call the uh, uh we are going to call the api so for that i'm going to say response is equal to request dot post because it is a post request uh, if you see over here it is a post call so that's why we are doing post request over here and along with that here we are going to send first the url and then the form data form data yeah and that's it uh, this is how uh, we are going to call the scammers api for just for time being or like just for my satisfaction i will put a printf over here so that i know that this got called okay and i will say response from the request is response from the request is dot okay so this will verify if uh, if we got in response okay or not so that's why this this is static data these are static data these all these are static data okay only the name we are going to randomly generate it phone number we are going to randomly generate it and phone to is the date over here <laughs> so if you notice uh, the date which i had put was in phone dash two so that's why phone two now first we'll uh, start by creating our uh, random generator name okay so i'm going to say def uh, this generate name this won't take anything uh, this will have two things first of all objective and nouns these are the things that i have decided to use and i have list of uh, those ready you all can see the code in the github and like copy from there if you all want to scam these scammers again uh, so i have used these nouns and over here i have used this adjective sorry adjectives yes so i'm going to minimize this these are around 50 50 of them so uh, we are going to use both of them to form a random name so for that we are going to randomly select one of this and one of this and then combine both of them okay to do that it is uh, let's say adjective is equal to random dot uh, choice and we'll say adjectives so uh, out of this list it will select randomly one adjective then uh, likewise we are going to do for noun so we are going to use nouns over here and noun over here so now we have uh, noun equal to random dot choice noun so it will select one random noun from this list okay and this list is very big so like ar around 50 now we have two of them ready now let's return both of them and in order to return we are going to use f string obviously first we'll use the adjective and then the noun so adjective and then the noun so this is how we got our random name our random name is ready now let's do a random phone number generator so i'm going to say def phone number and in this one this is very easy so what we are going to do directly return it and um, this is a little complicated to understand at first but it is very easy trust me so i'm going to do is uh break it down so for underscore in range and range will be of 10 because uh, phone numbers of are of 10 digits right so in for these uh, randomly select a choice okay so random dot choice and what will be the choice list uh, like what will be the choices 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry 6 7 8 9 so out of this randomly select a digit it will select and this will be selected 10 times okay because it is in a for loop so now that we have randomly selected uh, digits 10 digits we are going to join them so dot join right so again let me explain to you all what i have done 
I have iterated uh, over this 10 times. So for underscore in range of 10. So that means iterate over this 10 times. And while iterating, uh, select randomly one of the digit from this. So it will select 10 times and it will keep on joining all of them. So this is how our phone number will be randomly generated every time. So that scammer does not have a pattern or uh, figure out of pattern to like discard the fake data. Now likewise we are going to generate the random dates. Okay. So def generate random date and in this one we are going to take start date and end date. So start date let's say uh, we take it as 2001. So first uh, Jan of 2001. So I'm going to give it to time date date time. So 2001 sorry 2001 first and first. So this will convert this date into date time object or uh, start date time start date time is ready now we'll say end date so end date will be today's date so date time dot now now what we are going to do is uh, calculate the number of days between these two uh, dates and select one of them randomly right so we are going to do that so i'm going to call it as uh, random days and this will be uh, let's first uh, calculate the dates okay so the dates will be end date dot sorry end date minus start date and out of this get the days. So from here we got the days. Okay now uh, we are going to select a random integer from 0 to till these many dates right. So in order to do that random dot uh, rand int 0 comma these many number of days so quickly what i have done is first of all a uh, random integer takes a range that is from 0 till uh, x number of range okay so say if 0 is there and then 100 is over here then it will select any random integer from between 0 and 100 so uh, over here we don't really have days so that's why what we did is we did we took today's date and subtracted with the uh, 2001's, uh, 2001's first chain and there we go there we get the days so this is how we get uh, random days and then we are going to add it to the start date and return that so I'm going to call it as a random date and this will be start date plus uh, time delta days equal to random days so quickly over here what I have done is took the start date that is January 1st of 2001 and then added whatever this randomly date is selected over here. So uh, using time delta. So this is how we get our random date and now we just have to format and return this. So return uh, random date dot strf time string format the time and give it a format. So the format is person d that is date then percent %m that is month and then percent %y that is year. So this is how we generate our random date. So our, all our data is ready. Now we can run this directly by calling this function or uh, we can run it like this directly and it will work perfectly fine. But here's the thing. What will happen is uh, let's say this function, this API calls take one second and if we want to run this thousand times, it will take our thousand seconds, which is not good, right? So for that, we are going to use this multi-processing and we are going to call this uh, in a loop over there. So to do that, we are going to uh, comment this out and uh, we are going to create a new function and I will call this function as uh, parallel function and let's see how it is this will be def parallel function and this will take in function and number of processes so function i will call it as fnc sorry func and uh, it will be num underscore processes over here let's just follow whatever i do and then i will explain what i have done right 
so i will call processes as blank uh, list i will create a blank list of called processes then what i'm going to do is iterate for uh, underscore in range and what will be the range a range will be whatever number of processes we provide over here so let's say if we uh, pass in a thousand over here so it will be created thousand times then after that i'm going to say p is equal to multi processing dot process and uh, target will be equal to whatever the function name is and that function name we are going to pass it over here so it will create a p and then append it uh, to this process so process dot append and this will be p and then we are going to do is p dot start after this come out of the for loop and then create another for loop so p uh, in process and over here we are going to do is p dot join and that's it so over here what i have done is created a parallel function that receives a function name and number of times it should be run and i have created a list called as process and it is a blank list and we iterate oh, we iterate over here for the num process times and create a multi processing dot process with the target function of whatever the function we have passed and then append it into the process and then we start that after that we iterate over the processes and we join all of them and that's how it will run so let's save this and uh, instead of calling this directly what we are going to do is call the parallel function parallel function and in this we are going to pass in the function name call scammer and how many times i want to run let's say first we'll try 100 times okay because uh, my system is already overloaded with uh, recordings and everything so that's why we'll try 100 times if my system doesn't hang then we'll try it thousand times let's save this open the terminal ppnv shell and let's run the project so python uh, index.py and hopefully yes all of them ran 100 times and scammers data is filled with 100 data 100 random fake data this is how i used my python skill to teach a lesson comment down how you all use your python skills in real world if you found this video any helpful make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch such programming related videos and uh, thank you for watching this video see you in the next one